Good morning, welcome back to my channel. Today is just gonna be a little productive day in my life. I have to get a lot done today, especially because I have some guests coming over the weekend, I think. I'm not really sure. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see what happens. Started my morning with my walk, did my part-time job for two hours, and now I'm sitting down to edit a few videos. So let's just get to it. I wish I was kidding when I said this, but it is now 4.03. It has fully been the entire day and I have been editing a video. So needless to say, I need to get out, get some human interaction. I'm gonna go on a walk and we're just gonna see the sights. It is gray as always and it's killing me, but let's just do it. therapeutic i don't know what it is but whenever i go for a walk especially in the afternoon i just have to call my friends and like talk to them the entire time so i talked to jess for a hot second talked to mckenz and i also talked to my sister i just i haven't had zero social interaction today and honestly for the past few days and it's been like really affecting me i absolutely love the job that i do and i love getting to create fun things but there's some days when i look up and i realize i haven't even opened opened my mouth not once especially since I am not zooming with my like part-time job in the morning for the past few days I'm gonna get back on it tomorrow but I just haven't been doing that over the past few days so I'm like I have literally talked to no one and it's just not healthy I need to get back into the swing of making an effort to hang out with my friends so I'm really excited for tomorrow because McKenz and Sam are coming into town I think we're gonna go to a baseball game with my friends from here and I just think we're gonna have a really fun weekend I just I don't know I I love social situations I love social interactions and I also really love my alone time but sometimes it's like my alone time it's too much like it is too much and I'm really trying to find the balance between work and life i don't know i don't want to slip into a bad place of like toxic productivity so if you guys have anything that helps you when you're starting to feel like you are just like diving into your work and that's all you're doing and how to get out of that let me know right now i'm gonna make some dinner it's 6 30 the sun doesn't set until 8 but i do think i am going to go to a sunset spot that i've actually never been to i go to that beach all the time but i've never been to the beach to watch the sunset so i'm gonna go there tonight and i hope the sun is gonna be out i don't know it's really it's a hit or miss because the sun goes behind the clouds so quickly it's like it's out for maybe 30 minutes and then it says goodbye we'll see but let's cook some dinner i am an ipad kid now we have to do the dishes <laughs> showered i'm getting ready to go to bed there's still one thing i need to do 
for my video that's going live tomorrow that I've been working on all day. I just need to do my thumbnail and then get it ready and scheduled to post tomorrow at 9 a.m. And then we'll be done with all of my duties for today. As I was going to watch the sunset, I was just so deep in thought about just life in general and how there's some days when I have like one of two thoughts. It can go either way. So the first thought process I go down is like when I'm having a day where I have to sit at my desk and work all day and there's really no other option that I have, I think to myself like, wow, this is actually terrifying. I am financially independent. I am relying on me doing this work to be able to live and be able to do the things that I want to do in life and I am fully financially responsible for myself and I get slightly terrified um, but then there's another thought that my mind wanders down and it's that I have so many previous versions of myself that was just dying to be where I am right now and similarly, there's so many future versions of myself that are reminiscing on this time that I'm in right now. And like, wow, like that was such a great time in your life that you lived so close to the beach. You were on your own. You just had so, so many opportunities and like the entire world in front of you and your entire life in front of you as well. And I just get so grateful, but also I get this this incredible amount of pressure to make every single day like the best day ever. Show the most gratitude to where I am or the stage of life that I'm in. And some days it's just honestly hard. I think I've talked about this before, how constantly romanticizing your life, it's like a full-time job. I think, you know, when it's easy, when your life is great, obviously it's easy to romanticize it because it is great. But then there's times like today when it was really cloudy, I had no motivation, and the only time I had interaction with a human was over my phone, um, and that didn't come until like 5 p.m. So I don't know. I, I think right now it's not that I'm struggling, but I think that I am, am trying to find the balance between you know, being so grateful for the situation in life that I'm in, but also not putting pressure on myself to, like, live this grand, crazy, exciting life, because sometimes I just genuinely cannot do it. I cannot keep up with it. And I know that in past stages of my life, my channel was just so much more exciting, um, and I just hope that now that I am kind of settling into life and having like real world trials and tribulations that the slowed down pace of my channel isn't boring <laughs> I just I really hope that um I'm still able to connect with some of you guys because it means everything to me I will be honest it does mean a lot to me um so yeah I <laughs> am gonna put on one last episode of the hills for the night finish my thumbnail which might take me about an hour I'm so exhausted I keep looking at my eyes and it's tripping me out because they look bloodshot but the light is red so I don't think they are but <laughs> maybe they are anyways it looks like there's a human right there does anyone like does your mind play tricks on you like I'm literally looking that looking at that and I see eyes and an arm so it's just my shoes um but I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're watching to this point comment this emoji I'm gonna make it the flame heart emoji because it kind of goes with the energy that I'm creating right now and we're blurry all right bye guys <laughs>